Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we are getting it all in League of Enthusiastic Losers. This was developed by Yukond, published by Red Deer Games, and it's usually available for £4.19 slash $4.99, and it's currently on sale for 3 bucks and should go on the sale for the same price in the future. Future! So we play as Vitya and Volodya. Two men who end up in the same boat as Harry and Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber, wherein they can't afford rent and need to find treasure to pay. Kind of reminds me of this. We got no food. We got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> anyway, as for achievements, it is very, very easy. They are all story related apart from one where we have to pet the dogs five times in one game. Yes, this is simplistic, beyond simplicity, as a lot of this game is just talking, getting through dialogue, and doing a few puzzles. It is an easy 1k though, so we can't complain, eh? All in all, if you do ram through the L dialogue, it'll take around 30 minutes or so to complete. So, with that being said, then let's begin. And sorry, I'm still chuckling at, our pets' heads are falling off! This is exactly the same situation, except they look a bit less Lloyd and Harryish. Anyway, let us press A to continue, of course, and we will get into the game. So, like I said, this game is... It's, it's ridiculously easy. Um, you know, you think of things like Peppa Pig and, you know, Paw Patrol and all those types of easy games and the Rat Alika games and Jitlon and stuff like that. This is longer, but it's just, it's just so easy. Even the puzzles tell you exactly what to do. Uh, so, as we begin here... Um, if you picked English, the language will come in English. Uh, all the dialogue and stuff like that, which is all good. Um, in terms of buttons and stuff like that, it's literally left stick to move. There it is, it'll tell you left stick to move. It'll always tell you on screen whether you need to press the B button. So you can press the A button here and you can just crack on. That's what we'll be spamming through with the, with the dialogue. We'll just be spamming through with the A button. And like I said, any time that you need to go, go up to something or do something, it'll tell you what button to push, whether that'll be A, B... Uh, or anything. So, not much of a um, start settings menu, so we'll just crack on. So for now, well, <laughs> we can just keep heading to the right. That's all we're doing. Our uh, pal at the back there looks like he's got a uh, hell of a limp. <laughs> either that or a third long leg, I don't know which. I haven't got either, so I, uh, that's why I walk normally, but um, still. We're going to the right, and we are going to bump into some kids. In a, in a, in a weird forest location as well, I hope... Um, they weren't trying to say something with this, so you know. Anyway, we need to press the <laughs> we need to press the A button next to them, smash through it, and we are just going to uh, start our first very 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 easy mini game, or I call it mini game. It's, it's, it's a mini something, mini limp. So just keep spamming through again. If you want to have a look at the dialogue, you know, be my guest, have a look. But all you got to do is just go left and right, um, and the dog's eventually just going to come over and just. Put the ladder by the dog. That's that's pretty much it. And that will get us our first achievement there. Dog's hero. And then we're going to be getting our second and third achievements here for petting the dog five times. We'll just get it out of the way now uh, so that it's done and we don't have to mess around with that. So press the Y button when you're next to the dog to pet him. And you will get the first achievement. And pet him a further four times. So you got the good boy achievement. Pet him a further four times. And you will get the oh my sweetie achievement. So very simplistic. There it is. And when you do this after that. Just keep heading to the right. And we will eventually talk to our friend here. Nadia. So just keep spamming through the dialogue for the time being. Now, after they've stopped talking about something, uh, just keep heading to the right, and we're going to get into another conversation randomly with this random guy with star glasses on. Dude is pretty much acided up right now, I think. But in terms of any um, answers or any particular questions you need to ask, 
There is literally none. So you just keep spamming the A button until the scene ends, and then we can move on. So you don't literally don't have to pick any specific particular dialogue at all through the game. Filthy and hot. Oh, well then, that was some spicy chicken wings, huh? And apparently we listened to a song in the cafe. I'm pretty much assuming this is the cafe. So we are going to get the sounds good achievement here as well. So it should be popping. Um, yeah, it says listen to a song in the cafe, but that looked more like a... I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it must be all different in Moscow because that wasn't a cafe to me. Cafe is, you know, where you drink tea and stuff. I suppose if you're Russian, though, every cafe just comes with a hit of vodka. So, uh, yeah. No, fair news, fair news. So, we are home. And again, you're just going to keep spamming through the dialogue for now. And now we can go to bed. So, if you didn't get the pet the dog achievement here, it'll tell you you can press the Y button now to pet him. And obviously, remember to pet him five times if you didn't get the Oh My Sweetie achievement. Otherwise, press the B button next to your bed. And take a cheeky little Snoopy Snoops. So what we're doing for this scene then, again, pet the dog if you so wish. I stop bothering after a while because he's had enough pets. All you're going to do is speak to Volodya here, or Vitya, or whichever one we are, whichever one our friend is, I keep forgetting. And then you're going to go to the door on your left because the doorbell has just gone. So as soon as it's gone and we stop talking to Vladimir, uh, go to the left, all the way to the left, and you're going to see the button prompt there with the B button. Press the A button to open it up, and you're gonna have a you're gonna have a little chat with our landlord, El Virginios. Uh, bruh, that's a lot of talking. Right, anyway, head left, go up here, or press up on the D-pad or the left stick or whatever, until we get to this scene, where there's a bunch of uh, letterboxes and stuff here. But we're going to uh, walk all the way to the right, and that is exactly what we're going to keep doing for now. Nothing incredible is going to happen, nothing, you know, we don't get a lucky break, we don't get anything like that, we're just going to literally keep heading <laughs> to the right for the time being. Um... The tram will appear in just a mo, or the bus, sorry. There it is, so eventually it'll appear. Press up again on the left stick. Now you need to use the right stick to move. When there's any little puzzles like this, you need to move, uh, use it with the right stick. And it'll be the same with all the puzzles here. And I will show you exactly what it is now. Because again, what you'd normally think is you use the left stick and then press the A button to move stuff. But no, it is the right stick and then you use the right trigger to move things. So it's the right stick to move the cursor and the right trigger to pick things up and drop them in places. So these are exactly what the um, puzzles are like. It basically tells you what to do. So you just need to put the smallest one in the small one, the medium one in the medium one, the big one in the big one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, it's pretty simplistic. Although it did uh, catch you out and confuse you with the not A button and left stick. Huh? And the same here then. You've literally got to just place everything where it is. So the elephant on the bottom shelf... The books and the um, incredible-looking Super Mario, which is definitely not Super Mario, 
on the uh, top left corner, and then the flowers, the plant leaves, poison things. Poison ivy's there on the right shelf. And that's it. That's um, that's all you do all day for a job. That's That sounds pretty easy. That's my kind of job. Laziness with a hint of barely doing anything. So anyway, head all the way left until we get home once again. And then when we head to the left, we're automatically going to go upstairs and we're going to speak to um, this old guy who's literally metal detecting the floor, which, I mean, my assumption is it wouldn't work because you can't really dig through the floor. So uh, anyway, smash through all of the dialogue once again with old man Jenkins. And he's talking about a beast in his kitchen and it's literally just the goat. So we're automatically going to have a piece of sugar and all you've got to do is just wave it in front of the goat's face. Again, using the right stick, of course, to move it. So there it is. So just go ahead, put it in front of the goat and he will start moving towards you ever so slowly. But you've got to do it quite close to him. I'm not sure if you can actually eat it. I think it's literally just luring him away. Um, hey, son of a bit, that was my cup. That was my cup that my wife gave me. Anyway, after the scene is done, you'll get the Monster's Buster achievement. And we get the metal detector, which apparently we couldn't steal or buy. So, um, job done. We're all good. So after this bit, all you're going to do is just head through the right to your house. Simple. So when they say treasures, it just kind of reminds me of Terence and Philip from South Park. I am looking for treasures. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was a terrible South Park Canadian accent. So what we're doing then, you don't actually have to speak to Vladimir Moda right there. I keep forgetting which one it is. So what we do is keep heading to the right. And now we've got a little mini game again. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not random. So if you just follow exactly where I go, you will see the uh, points of where we are looking. So the first one is sort of... Uh, sort of at the top of the screen, as obviously as soon as the red starts beeping a lot faster, you know that you're close. But it is at the top of the screen and sort of just off to the right of the middle. That's the first one. The second one here is going to be um, at the left-hand side of the screen. So it's roughly about in the middle, the rough, uh, the uh, left-hand side, sort of just above the middle there. Um... Again, it, it may be a bit finicky, so you may have to sort of play around and move around with it. But there it is. So it's sort of on the, again, left side of the screen, probably just actually underneath um, the middle. And then for the third one, it's going to be in the um, sort of, again, sort of more towards the top left hand corner. So roughly about, it's again, it can be kind of finicky. Can be, well, it's not tricky, but uh, yeah, it is kind of finicky. So it's roughly around the top left-hand corner here. We're going to come up to it soon. Again, it'll all be automatic as well. You don't have to press anything. You've just got to find the, you've got to find the perfect spot, the, uh, the the G spot, as it were. Apparently, apparently, women like something called the G spot. I've never heard of it myself, but uh, there you go. Crazy times we live in, huh? 
Um, <laughs> there it is. So again, sort of kind of towards the left uh, left top corner. Some sick son of a... Uh, some sick... <clears throat> Why? Why would somebody leave as we just walk to the right here and speak to Vladimir once again? Who, what kind of sick person would leave a biscuit tin without biscuits and with a sewing kit? Why did everyone's nan ever do that? Why? Oh, off to Nan's house for a biscuit? No, it's just full of sewing stuff on your bums. I tell you what, we talk about people and things trolling us on social media. Our mums and our nans were the original ones at doing that, just for that bloody biscuit tin trick. So, anyway, a little rant over about biscuits and sewing tins. After this is done, we can keep heading to the right. After uh, the uh, bit's done... Now, it doesn't matter what order you do it in, you've got to press all of the buttons anyway, so you can go from top to bottom, from bottom to top. But it'll always be, after every single one you push, it'll always be the last one where the the A button prompt will appear. So, there we go. Nadia's like, come in, boys, come and get my goat's milk. And then just spam through the dialogue once again. So once we've woken up then, this time we're going to go to the left. We're going to speak to... No, in fact, we're not going to this time. But we are going to speak to this little boy, Fred. Or whatever his name is. Fred, yeah. Oh, Fred, yeah. Anyway, speak to Big Fred for just a med. Minute, even. And then when the conversation is done, head to the right and we're going to build a plane. Again, very, very simple. Press the B button here when we are next to our desk and our dog. And then all you got to do, again, remember, you've got to press the right trigger to grab things. So we're going to grab the propeller, put it at the front, grab the two wings and put them on the wings. Now, what you have to do, the only thing I would say is just wait until it goes, uh, lights up there. That's when you know you put it in the correct place. Just in case you can't see, it can be uh, kind of troubling. Uh, grab the two wings there, put them on either side. Again, wait until it lights up and that's when you know you put it in the right place. And then grab the... Thing at the back there again I'm not very good at playing so please excuse my ignorance um, but that will get us the good pilot achievement so uh, we're still going strong all right anyway head to the left and speak to Fred Yar. Right, when we are done with the chats, all you're going to do is literally just keep going to the left. We're just going to keep on climbing the stairs. And somehow, now you see how it's daytime in the background, right? So we're just going up. Again, we're going to keep walking to the left to keep going up the stairs. We're on to floor six, still daytime. Right, lovely. So keep going. And then, okay, no, it is still pretty light here, but uh, seven. And then keep going to the left. And then number eight. And they're saying, oh, by the time you get up to the top floor, it's going to be dark. How bloody long does it take you to climb literally 30 stairs? How long does it bloody take you, mate? Man, these these, these kids, they, they need the goddamn vodka in the morning by the looks of things. Um, which is not always a bad thing. So, let's go. Now, we don't actually have to do anything. This, again, is just one long cutscene. So, spam through the dialogue as quick as you can until we can move El Vitya and Vlod Mod Mod again.
By the way, it's not ignorance when I keep calling him Vlog Mod Mod. I just keep forgetting his name. That's all. Um, so when we get to the museum here, we're just going to keep heading to the right. You can have a look at the artifacts if you want, but they literally do nothing. It's just a little bit of story dialogue. Um, so it literally it just adds a little bit more time to the to the game. That's all. Nothing nothing too interesting. So head to the left, uh, head to the right. Even keep on pressing the A button here, and then what's going to happen is we're going to press the A button and the uh, we're going to turn on our torch, and there is going to be Am's Thief. <gasps> there he is. Now, of all the times you can try and catch the thief, you can't actually catch the thief. So all you got to do is just wiggle the left and right stick. Le left the, the left stick, just wiggle it left and right. Keep going as quick as you can, and then eventually the scene will end, but you can never catch the thief. Reminds me very much of Randy Marsh. Oh, but I've almost got the dragon. You never catch the dragon. If you know what episode I'm talking about. And do you think we got paid for our heroics of chasing an art thief and not actually uh, catching anything? Uh, of course not. But now we are playing as Vladimod Bod. I am um, obviously just going to keep on talking to Vitya for a moment. So just go to the left now when we stop talking, press the B button here by the wardrobe and then just again, once again, spam through the once again dialogue once again. Now we are going to get an achievement here for doing literally nothing. Nadia automatically picks us up and we get the true friends are made in poverty. Which is actually true and that's going to be true for the rest of the world. Especially the UK since nobody's going to be able to play games because electric's too high. And we're not going to be able to warm and we're going to freeze to death because it's going to be too cold. And we can't afford to turn our heating on. So thank you once again to the Tory government right there. Appreciate that. It is. Anyway, uh, again, spam through as we've been doing for the majority of the game so far. And we wake up, we go ahead, we can speak to uh, Vlodja. And then what we're going to do is just head to the door on the left. We've just got a bing bong, bing a ring, bing a ring. We're going to press the B button here, of course, by the door. And we're going to be like, eh, man, there's no one there. Hey, pass me the vodka, man. You must be sobering up. And, of course, the kids are actually there. So you're going to speak to little Fredja and Kostya. And what that costs you? Oh, my goddamn money. Now, as cute as these kids are, of course, we are very depressed because we're about to be evicted. 
So we're going to go to the right and we're going to build a boat and go off floating stuff with them because that'll solve all your problems. So press the B button, of course, by the desk here. Now just grab the big pole, stick that square in the middle, pure dry. Um, grab this other piece of wood and obviously you don't, you don't need to put that on the pole, but you put it at the front. And then, of course, the makeshift flag, pop that on the pole. You know exactly what a boat looks like. And then, yeah, so instead of just working harder or trying to get another job or, you know, trying to find something to sort out your money woes, you're going to go sailing a little ship in the pond. So head left, then head up, kind of equals down, weirdly. So you need to go up to go downstairs for some reason. And then we just head out to the right. I mean, it's very relaxing, but, you know, still, <laughs> still doesn't give us the rent money, huh? So now we've got to give the dog a bath, and again, there's no water, there's no soap, you've just got to literally grab the right stick and get rid of all the dirty spots. There's three, and again, no water, no shampoo or nothing, it seemed, it was just literally with a dry sponge, and uh, yeah, now the dog is smelling worse than ever, but hey, at least he has some treats and stuff, huh? So this is it, we're coming up to the end of the game. Where are we gonna get our treasures from? Are the kids gonna help us? Well, let's find out, huh? Let's go to the left, let us interact with the kids and say, kids, who the hell are you? But please help me get some money because two grown men can't figure it out. By the way, there wasn't a dig at two grown men. I'm just saying children are very smart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You no, know, children are smarter than most grown-ups. So, we'll give them that. So, we're just going to keep on heading to the right here. And what we're going to see is like this little beetle. Or whatever it is. I think it's a beetle. Anyway, just grab the right stick here. And just, just shine it over the beetle for a couple of seconds there. Scene will go on. And then all we've got to do is take the two training wheels off. Put the bell on, put the two pedals on. Again, of course, using the right stick and the right trigger to get it off. And then uh, that's about it. That will end this scene. Yeah, cheers, Nads. You could have come through for us earlier, hun. In fact, you just want to live here, because it's nice, it's spacious, and, well, apparently we got the huts for each other or something, is, is what I gathered from that. But anyway, keep heading to the left, sorry. Keep heading to the left, and then left all the way, and we're going to go ahead and speak to 
Miso Michael. And it's nothing bad. You're just going to have a conversation with him. And then you're going to go back all the way to the right until we end up back in our apartmento. So what's going to happen here is we're going to go all the way to the right. He's going to throw a shoe at the spider or his, yeah, his shoe at a spider. And somehow this house and this these brick walls must be made with literally choco dip chocolate or something. You know, melted chocolate or whatever. Because look how easy that we just smash a hole in the wall. And oh, look at that. Somehow there's going to be a bunch of treasure behind her as well. Unbelievable. So yes, uh, that'll give us the lucky charm achievement. But he does actually throw a shoe. And that is how that opens up. And that's going to be the end of the game. I call it game. It's pretty much a quote, quote, you know, quote, unquote game. A lot of talking, a lot of very simple puzzles. I said it's very, very easy. But as soon as you get through here, the spider is going to talk. It's just going through a little rundown of what people done. Nobody died. Everyone's all good. And um, yeah, that's the end of that. Spider's happy. We're all done. That's happily ever after. It is for us because we've got another 1,000 easy achievements. So, uh, much appreciated for that. But there we go, <laughs> guys and girls. That's uh, 10 out of 10 achievements. Should be you done. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If it helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with any and all friends that you got. A big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And, well, that's it for now then, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big le le love.